It's not only one of the most recognizable buildings in Boston, it is in some ways the hub of the hub and the whole state for that matter. Did you know it's also a museum? Welcome to the Massachusetts State House. A legislative act in 1969 made State House tours available every weekday free of charge. Right now we're standing in the original part of the building. This part of the building was done in 1798 and designed by a man named Charles Bullfinch. The 30-minute tour includes information on history, architecture, and the legislature. Tour guide A.J. Maloney reminded me of some fun facts here, which was shared with this group from Shelburne Summer Camp in Boston. If you guys look up above this clock, you'll see a bird. It probably doesn't look like any bird you've ever seen before. That's because at the time when this clock was being done, there was still some debate over what the national bird was going to be. It has the body and neck of a turkey and the wingspan of an eagle, and we call that the teagle. Secretary of State Bill Galvin says 100,000 people take the tour every year. Just think about this building. Not only has it been here for 200 years, but think about all the people that have walked these halls. Historical figures from the Revolutionary period, people during the interim period, uh, more recently Calvin Coolidge. So that alone would be enough of an attraction. And then it's a beautiful building. And it's free. And it's free. <laughs> That's, it's the hidden jewel. Galvin's favorite section of the building, the Senate Chamber, part of the original building and directly under the Golden Dome. You see these papers tied up in red ribbon? Those papers are like the day's bills and discussions, and the red ribbon is a tradition from Parliament, and it's where the expression of something being tied up in red tape comes from. From the hallways to the executive office and Great Hall of Flags, this tour doesn't disappoint. This here is the House of Representatives, the other half of the legislative branch of our state government here in Massachusetts. We have 160 representatives, each gets their own desk from which they vote. Uh, because there are so many, they vote electronically using these black boxes. Secretary Galvin encourages citizens to come here for all sorts of reasons. It's not just a museum, it's a place of work. So people come with their government problems and they come with their issues. And that's important, whether it's on the front steps or inside, this is the place that people would come to express their opinions. Ten-year-old Cameron Gordon's opinion of the tour? I would give it two thumbs up. Thank you.